Hi guys, in this video, we are going to uncover everything about everyone's favorite pirate, Captain Jack Sparrow, played by the one and only Johnny Depp. We are going to reveal everything you might have missed in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise and much more. So keep watching because today is the day you'll learn new, interesting facts about Captain Jack Sparrow. Jack is inspired by a real life pirate. Jack Sparrow's character is inspired by a real-life pirate, John Ward, nicknamed Sparrow. He is an English pirate turned Muslim, famous for being fearless and terrorizing the Mediterranean Sea with a complete absence of morals. He was born in 1553 in the United Kingdom and died in 1622 in Tunisia. Jack's Pistol During the shooting of the Pirates of the Caribbean, Jack's pistol, that seen in the movie, was not a prop, but a real 17th century flintlock. Why was Jack branded as a pirate? Not many people know that Cutler Beckett once hired Sparrow to transport cargo, but when he discovered the cargo was actually slaves, he freed them instead, and as punishment, Beckett had Sparrow branded as a pirate, and sunk his ship, the Black Pearl. Johnny had to wear special contacts. While filming in the Caribbean, the intense sunlight was going to be an issue, so Johnny had to wear special contacts, which enabled him to look at the sun without having to squint. The Lonely Island Song The group known as The Lonely Island wrote a song named Jack Sparrow. The song may not be as successful as other hits the group has, but it does feature Michael Bolton. So if you haven't heard it, I highly recommend you check it out. Is Jack constantly drunk? In the movies, it's easy to think that he's always drunk, mostly for the bizarre way he walks around. But he actually isn't. Rather, he has what's called sea legs. When he's on land, he walks with a distinct sway, and when he's on a boat, he walks as straight as an arrow. Who was considered for the part? As hard as it may be to think of any other actor capable of playing Jack Sparrow, Johnny wasn't the only actor considered for the role. Hugh Jackman was the first choice, then Jim Carrey and Michael Keaton were also considered. Even Robert De Niro was offered the role, but he declined, thinking that the movie wouldn't do well at the box office, like many other pirate movies in the past. He was of course proven wrong, and so he accepted the role of Captain Shakespeare in the movie Stardust. I think it's safe to say that we are all pretty happy that Johnny got the part. Worst Swordsman According to the screenwriter's commentary on the DVD, Will Turner is the best swordsman in the film. Barbosa and Commodore Norrington are evenly matched, and Jack Sparrow is actually the worst. Gold Teeth Captain Jack is portrayed as having gold teeth in the film. The gold teeth were Depp's idea, but he predicted that executives would want fewer gold teeth so he actually told his dentist to implant more as a bargaining tool. Jack's final number of gold teeth in the film was what Depp had envisioned all along. But funnily enough, he forgot to remove them after filming was completed. Almost Fired While shooting for the first film, Johnny Depp was almost fired because the Disney executives couldn't understand his portrayal of the fictional pirate. They thought he was portraying a drunk or a gay pirate. Tattoo Clothing and smears of charcoal were used to conceal Johnny Depp's numerous tattoos. The Jack Sparrow tattoo on his arm in the movie is a fake, but he got a real replica after finishing the film, in honor of his son Jack. More trivia most of Jack's hats are made of rubber because Johnny Depp kept losing them overboard. After he lost 10 leather hats, the costume designer started making them out of rubber to float. Good call. Jack can be seen with a bone in his hair. This is actually what's called a marling spike, or fid. These were made from a reindeer shin bone. Sailors would actually use them to mend sails and for rigging. For Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, Johnny Depp said he agreed to star in this movie even before, quote, there was a script or anything. Talk about being eager. 
Johnny Depp actually improvised Jack Sparrow's catchphrase, Savvy. There is a small scab on Jack Sparrow's chin that slowly gets bigger and bigger throughout the movie. The makeup artist and Johnny Depp actually did it on purpose as a prank. One of the film's last lines, Bring Me That Horizon, was improvised by Johnny Depp on the morning the scene was filmed. There you have it, guys. Everything we could find about Captain Jack Sparrow. Let us know what are your thoughts on this video in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for our next video.